seven reasons why you should read the King James Bible. 99% of all manuscript evidence supports the type text that the King James uses. Further, this text type is overwhelmingly supported by the early church fathers. There's a hundred times, a hundred times more manuscript evidence for the traditional text than the critical text that support the NASB, the ASV, the NIV, the ESV. You should read the King James Bible because the underlying text is correct. The second word is perfect. God's word is perfect. God's inspired and preserved words were accurately translated in the King James Bible. And through the act of translation, we have an accurate Bible in front of us. Well, do you think that God re-inspired his word? Why would he have to re-inspire them? They were already there in the first place. They never went away. The 47 men, those King James translators, were in all likelihood the greatest assembly of the scholars of the biblical language into English in church history. The translators were more linguistically qualified than any other group of translators before or since. It's proven. The King James Bible, this is according to Thomas Nelson, the King James Bible continues to change lives. 400 years after its publication, Hundreds of millions of people still turn to it every day as their preferred version of Scripture. 55% of people, when they're opening their Bible, what are they still opening? The King James Bible. Even as some say the language is archaic, the majority still pick it up and read it. So why do people pick it up? Because they know that they have a Bible that has met the test of time. It's practical. Well, you know, those these and thous that are in there, they're helpful. In fact, in that English, there's distinctions that the thou, thee, thy, and thine were used for the second person singular, where ye, you, your, and yours were the corresponding words for the plural. Different words were used for the subject, object, possessive modifier, as it is still true for first and third person pronouns. Clear words are important for clear meaning. Jesus said, my word shall not pass away. Poetic. The translation style offers easier memorization. Abraham Lincoln in his Gettysburg Address and Martin Luther King Jr. in his I Have a Dream speech both tried to approximate the cadence, the rhythm, the language of the King James Bible. The way they translated Psalm 23 is so beautiful and so wonderful. And when you compare it to some of the old translations, you get to see how the beauty and the cadence and the language of the King James Bible is preferable to the old versions, or even the new ones. All right, it's pertinent. This Bible is historic. Thanks to emerging printing technology, the new translation brought the Bible out of the church's sole control and directly into the hands of more people than ever before. Whereas before the book was property of the church, now more and more people could read it for themselves. Not only that, but the language they read in the King James Bible was in English unlike anything they'd read before. With its poetic cadences that we just talked about before and vivid imagery, the King James Version sounded to many like the voice of God himself. And anywhere you go in the English language, there are all these, I mean literally hundreds and hundreds of phrases that we use that are directly from the King James, writing on the wall, stuff like that. It's powerful. The King James Bible was the Bible of Whitfield, the Spurgeon of Robert Murray McShane and many more. And when the first and second Great Awakening occurred, it was the King James Bible that was used. I do not think it's a coincidence that multiple Bible versions have created a mist among the people. The Bible we hold to is the same, and it's steady, and we've seen it change the lives of millions of people without itself changing. The vessel of the King James Bible carries the content of powerful words, and that should give us confidence in what we read. Don't just read the Bible, read your King James Bible.